All right, in this video I'm going to do exa an example of finding the distance between two points. And the idea is if you have two points generically, some x value, some y value, some other x value, some other y value, um, you know, some the x values could be the same, the y values could be the same. I don't think you would obviously want the exact same things, the distance then would be zero. But uh, again, you can have, you know, some coordinates in common. Let me just try to clarify my statement. So it says the distance, it says you subtract the x-coordinates, square it, subtract the y-coordinates, square it, add those values, and then take the square root. Um, again, this formula comes from the Pythagorean theorem, um, if you uh, have not considered that. So anyway, suppose uh, you drive from a point A, which had, you know, suppose you're sitting at the coordinates 3, 8. So we go over 1, 2, 3 units, up positive 8 units. So there's our point A. And suppose, you know, uh, you're trying to get over to the coordinates of B, which are up there at 13 and 14. And you're driving on a, you know, a straight line straight to that, uh, straight to that other point. And we want to know if you stop halfway, um, you know, so if you stop halfway along uh, your journey, how far would you be from point B? So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to find the distance between these two points. And then whatever the distance is, I'll just take half of it since I'm stopping halfway. Okay, so to find the distance, again it says we take a square root. It says whatever the x-coordinates are, you just subtract them. So I'm going to take the x-coordinate of 13 minus 3. And then we square that. Then we always put a plus sign. And then we do the same thing with the y-coordinates. I just drop in their values. So I would have 14 minus 8. And now we just have to simplify. So the, the, the distance between a and b would be Let's see, so 13 minus 3 is 10. 10 squared would be 100. Let's see, uh, 4 minus 8, that would be 6. 6 squared is 36. So the distance would be 136. And I'm going to try to simplify this a little bit. So the distance between point A and point B is basically the square root of 136 units, whatever we're talking about here. So let's see if we can't clean it up just a little bit. Well, I know that uh, 36 is definitely even, so I can write that as 2 times what? Um, let's see, how about, uh, how about 68, right, if you double that. So I think we can factor this a little bit further, for sure, uh, keep breaking this down. So again, this is, you know, sometimes what you got to do if you don't have a calculator. So I can rewrite 68 as, let's see, I guess 2 times 34. And we can keep breaking it down here. So I've got 2 times 2. Let's see, 34, I could write that as 2 times 17. And now 17 doesn't factor any further. Um, so again, to simplify underneath the square root, since we've got 2 times 2, that's a 4. We can pull out the square root of 4 as our 2. Since we can't really take the square root of 2 or the square root of 17, we could just leave the 2 times 17 underneath there, which I'm just going to go ahead and multiply it back together as uh, the square root of 34. So that's the distance from A to B, which implies uh, if the the distance at the at at the uh, halfway point would be. Well, we would just take half this distance. So we would take 2 square root of 34, divide that by 2. The 2's would cancel, so it says basically we're square root of 34 units away.